Mayra, how are you? I'm fine. And Good. you? I'm fine, thank you. And today, good day, bad day? Good day. Good day, excellent. A loro. Yo. Mucho trabajo es a loro. A lot of work, a lot a of lot work. work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, imaginate, no como Delia. Delia, relax. Today, relax, <laughs> no work. Ay, excellent, Delia. Uh -huh. Está bien. Ahora, ahora, porque no fui a trabajar. <laughs> No, si se te nota la cara de descansada. No, ¿A qué hora te despertaste, Delia? ¿Ah? ¿Ah? A, a las 11 de la tarde. A las 5 de la tarde. ¡Wow! Excellent, excellent. Ok. This is good, this is good. Okay. Sí, pero mañana sí trabajaré. Ay, no. Ay. Malo de eso, no es rico, de no ser rico, ¿verdad, Delia? No. Pues sí. No. Uh -huh. Pues sí. Como solo José se ganó la lotería y uno de pobre, ¿qué va a hacer? Pues? Mm, <risa> Galán. <risa> Good evening. Good evening, José. Good evening. Uh -huh. mm. How are you, José? I am fine. Yes. And today, did you work? Uh, more or less. Okay, good. A, a little, a little work is is easy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Today we are going to continue. We are going to go to unit three. Today we are going to look at unit three: the jobs, the professions. Okay, and the places. So today we have uh, different activities for a job. For example, what are some jobs that you know? What are some professions that you know? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Mm -hmm. um, chef. Okay, excellent. Uh huh. Doctor. Doctor. Good, good. Salesperson. A salesperson. Okay, good. Salesperson. Good. And Mayra, customer service. Ah, customer service. Yes. Mayra, where does a doctor work? Where? Where is the doctor work? In a hospital. In a hospital. Very good. Today, we are going to see this. We are going to see the vocabulary for the job and the vocabulary, the location. For example, like Mayra example. A doctor works in a hospital, okay? Okay. Right? It, uh, for example, a teacher, a teacher works in a school. Okay. Mayra, where do you, where do you work? I work in, in Claro Corporate. It, very good. Always is in. Mayra is correct. The answer is I work in I work class. I work in claro. I work in la constancia. I work in. Okay. All right. Let's try with Jose. Jose. Okay. What do you do? A sales oh, no, no. agent, customer service. Uh, messenger. A messenger. Excellent. Okay. Very good. And Jose, where do you work? Eh, eh, no sé cómo se dice. Soy mensajero, pero en motocicleta. Ajá, but where? O, 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 o eh, para, eh, ¿con qué empresa? Ah, where, ¿con where? qué empresa? Se uh -huh. llama Multiges. ¿Multi? Ges. Ges. Multiges. Nunca lo he es, un, so, es, so, una, so. es una abreviación de una empresa que tiene, que es outsourcing. Entonces trabaja con otras empresas a las cuales ella le da servicios. Ah, ok. Limpiezas, eh, motoristas, motociclistas, que es mi caso. Uh -huh. Y digamos, llevan también servicios de contabilidad, etc. Wow, wow, José. Y manejas como loco. Zoom, 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 zoom. 
No, no tanto. No, ya te vi la sonrisa, ya te la vi, mentiroso. Ya te vi la sonrisa. No <risa> sé. No, solo cuando está lloviendo. Ay, no sé. <risa> no, ya, ya tuve mis experiencias, así que en base a experiencias le puedo decir que no. Ya no, ya, ya no, ahora ya no. Ok, perfecto. Esas son algunas de las cosas que vamos a aprender y vamos a practicar este día. Este día es bien interesante porque este día, aparte de aprender, vamos a tener un lapso de tiempo donde van a crear su propia conversación y la van a tener que presentar hacia toda la clase. Para poder empezar eso, primero vamos a aprender vocabulario y después todo. ¿Ok? All right. Let's look. The vocabulary for jobs and the vocabulary for professions. ¿Ok? Job vocabulary and activity. 3.1, 3.1. In this class, you learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four. He's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Okay. Si se van fijando, todos, todos, cuando estamos hablando del trabajo es is. No importa si es she or he. Es he is, she is, y después la profesión. A singer, a musician, a lawyer. Esto solo cambia cuando estás hablando de ti mismo. Cuando es de ti mismo, vas a decir I am o I'm, como dice mucho, muchas veces contractado, I'm, en el caso mío, I'm a teacher, I'm a driver, I'm an accountant, y ahí va. Pero para he and she siempre va a ser is. He's or she's. Okay. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Where's the unit? Okay. Here, son los lugares, ¿verdad? Places. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. In a hotel. Okay. Here, the activities. ¿Qué es lo que hacen? El otro es dónde y este es qué. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital ok let's go a little bit faster ok cuando hablamos de lo donde the place vamos a decir in por ejemplo a doctor works ok in a hospital a cashier works in a store for the place in for the activity the action a doctor ah, a doctor works hard a doctor wears a uniform. 
a doctor stands all day or a cashier, a cashier handles money, okay? A cashier eh, works hard or a cashier works at night. Entonces, para donde trabajan, siempre vamos a usar in, okay? Solo lo que trabaja o la acción que hacen es solo el verbo, okay? Es handles, works, okay, talks. Todo eso llevan ese porque estamos hablando de he y she. Si estamos hablando de uno mismo, I, entonces I wear a uniform. I sit all day. I talk to people sin la S. Is this okay? Any questions for the jobs? Está claro? Yes? Okay. All right, perfect. So now we are going to practice. We are going to practice with a partner. This is 3.2. 3.2, okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer la oración. Por ejemplo, number one. Ah, voy a preguntar. What's his job? Y mi compañero me va a contestar. Ah, he's a receptionist. He, porque es un hombre. Pero number two, what's her job? Ah, she's a doctor. She's, porque es una mujer. He's para hombre, she's para oh, yeah. mujer. Right? And here we complete. Number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We... Uh, complete to 16. Okay, this is 3.2. 3.2. Okay, let's try with the partners. Let's go with our partners. Let's see. One moment. Check. Okay. Okay. Me dejaron solo. ¿Qué pasó, Francisco? ¿No te pudiste unir? Quizá no. Le di ahí, pero me sacó. Ok, vamos a intentar de nuevo. No hay problema. Okay. No, Noé. ¿Tuviste problema, Noé? Todavía no. Hello, Mr. Hello. I'm sorry. Tengo problemas técnicos. I have a problem technics. Ah, ok, ok. No me, 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 me sacaba de, de, la, de, la, de la apps. No sé por qué. Ok, no, no hay por... problema. Ahí vamos a intentar de nuevo. Ok. Francisco, ¿qué pasó? No te pudiste unir. No, no, no. no. Estoy esperando que me ingrese. No aceptaste. O, o, o no el me internet. Tiró nada está... en la pantalla. ¿Ah? No me tiró nada en la pantalla. Bueno, podemos practicar con Noé aquí. Ok. Y ahí ya te tiró algo. Ya, ahorita. 
Okay, Francisco. Hey, Silvia. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Do you have some problems? No. No, este, estoy conectando, me acabo de venir. Ok, no problem, Silvia, no problem. Ok, estamos en 3.2, ahorita vamos terminando 3.2. Ok. Ok, so, it's ok, ok. Yes. Let's check, right? Okay, number two, what's his job? Uy, qué calladito este grupo, qué pasó? Así vamos a aprender inglés. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. Okay, vamos a ver otra vez. Okay, let's try. Let's see. It. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. What's his job? He is a pilot. pilot. He's a pilot. Excellent. Okay, good. Number. Okay, number five. What's her He's job? Attendant. Ah, very yeah. nice, Mike. There we go. There we go. Good. Number six. What's his job? He's a musician. He's a musician. Oh. Seven, what's her job? She's a singer. Singer. Oh. Okay, number eight, what's her job? How the pronunciation you judge. 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 So number eight, what's her job? Police office. Police office. Uh -huh. Okay. So no, no. Number eight, number eight, what's her job? Uh, she is a job. A job. Good, judge. judge, a judge. Good. Judge. Mm -hmm. Number nine, what's his job? She's a police officer. He's a police. 
A police officer. A police officer. Police officer. Good, good. Number 10, what's his job? He's a lawyer. A lawyer. He's a lawyer. Good. Oh, yeah. Okay. 11, what's his job? He's a cook. He's a, a cook. Okay. He's a cook or he's a chef. The two correct. He's a cook or he's a chef. Number 12, what's his job? Waiter. 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 He's a waiter. 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 Number 13, what's her job? She's a waitress. Oh, good. She's a waitress. Good. Okay. Number 14, what's his job? He's a salesperson. Correct. He's a salesperson. 15, what's her job? He is Kaiser. Good. Pronunciation? Cashier. 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 Good. Cashier. Cashier. Number 16, what's her She's job? A security guard. Security. She is a security Good. She is a security guard. Yeah. Guard. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So you can see. <clears throat> Ahora, what is the important? The important is the contraction. Tenga cuidado con la contracción. A veces la compu le agarra otra símbolo que parece, pero en realidad es el tilde o otra cosa y se lo va a marcar mal. Entonces, acuérdense, tenga cuidado con la contracción. ¿Ok? Sí. Les da, si les va a dar problema o si no están seguros, solo lo escriben en la forma larga. For example, he is a pilot. Okay. All right. Now we continue. The next one is here. The WH questions. WH questions. Okay. Today we see WH where and what. Que significaba where? Donde. 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 Excellent. Donde. And what? Donde. Okay. Uh -huh. Y el what? ¿Qué? 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 Exacto. ¿Qué? Okay. Aquí vamos a ver la reducción, o sea, cómo lo pronunciamos muchos americanos, cómo lo pronuncian muchos Todos. gringos, que ellos unen estas dos palabras. Por ejemplo, lo correcto es, where do you work? Pero muchos gringos, por unirlo, por decirlo rápido, suena, where do you work? En vez de decir, what do you do? Ellos dicen, what do you do? Y ahí es donde muchas veces nosotros no entendemos cuando estamos escuchando en la tele o la conversación o las películas, pero sí cuando hay los subtítulos. ¿Pero por qué? Porque ellos unen estos sonidos de uh, where does he work to where does he work? What does he do to what does he do? Y ahí es lo que vamos a aprender hoy. WH y la reducción de esas palabras. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Okay. Si se fijan, eso es la idea, solo para que sepan cómo la pronunciación. Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? Okay, muchas veces van a escuchar así, en vez de palabra por palabra, en vez de what do they do? No van a escuchar. 
what do they work or where do they work? Van a escuchar, where do they work? Okay. It's okay, the idea? Yes. Okay, good. This is only for pronunciation, only to help you with the idea for pronunciation, okay? Y es que es como suena y como lo dicen. Por ejemplo, hay, where do you work? Y después van a escuchar, where do you work? Okay. So, <coughs> si quieren estar un poco más claro, lo pueden ver el video después, pero simplemente es eso, para que entiendan que muchas ah, pues veces sí. estos están unidos, estas palabras están unidas. Okay. Now we're going to continue with making and using WH questions. Making and using WH questions. So for here, let's look at a conversation. WH questions. We will follow only. You'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. <laughs> Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Okay. Let's go back first. Para estar seguro. Acuérdense, where, okay, where is donde? What, okay, is que? And how? ¿Quién se acuerda? Como. Ah, exacto, como. Okay, o en este caso, how do you like it? En este caso, la pregunta es, ¿qué te parece? Okay, how do you like it? Or, ¿cómo te gusta? How do you like it? Y estamos hablando de los empleos, los trabajos. Si es para ti, son estas preguntas. O si es para la persona directa. Where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Si es para he, she, oh, or it. O sea, estamos preguntando de otra persona. Okay. Es, does. Thank you. Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? Lo mismo para she. Si fuera she. Where does she work? Where does, uh, sorry, what does she do? That's How good. does she like it? Okay. Yes. Si vemos la respuesta is, I really like it, is good. It's okay, mm, so, so. Hate it, they hate it, is very bad. Okay. I really like it, ah, me encanta, verdad? It's okay, eh, más o menos. I hate it, por ejemplo, si quieren decir, ah, lo odio. Or, en este caso, they hate it. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to practice this conversation. I, Rachel, my partner, Angela. And then, I, Angela, and my partner, Rachel. Okay. Eso lo primero. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Number two. Teacher. Yes. Eh, solo me quedó una, una duda ahí con el con la anterior eh, donde usted mencionó en, bueno, en, la, en la primera prácticamente sería eh, como cuando nos referimos o, o es la pregunta directamente a mi persona o, o ¿cómo, cómo sería tal vez en esa parte sí me, me quedó aquí con el you Ajá. Sí, correcto, correcto. Ajá. Okay, perfecto. El you, Ronnie, es siempre cuando le preguntas directo a la persona. Por ejemplo, yo te voy a preguntar a ti. Oh. Entonces, yo te, si yo te pregunto directo, siempre te voy a decir el you. Ronnie, where do you work? What do you do? Oh, How okay. do you like it? Ahora, si Ronnie, si te pregunto de tu mamá, de tu esposa, de alguien más, ahí es donde yo cambio a oh, does. Okay. Where does, dependiendo de la persona, he or she, y después las mismas acciones. 
Uh -huh. Y, hmm. y, sí. en, el, y en, la, en el otro siempre igual. No, en, el, en, el, en ese último sería... En este de aquí. Este Ajá, es para, sí, correcto. Este es para la misma que el do, solo que aquí es para otras personas. Por, por ejemplo, para el grupo. Where do they work? Uh, What do okay. they do? Okay, okay. How do they like it? Por ejemplo, en, en, por, por ejemplo en, la, en, la, en la primera es como si, por ejemplo, where do you, where do you work? Es como si le estuviera preguntando a usted, ¿dónde, dónde trabaja? ¿verdad? Exacto. Y en la otra yes. sería, where, where does the, eh, he work? Es como uh -huh. si yo le, le estuviera preguntando, eh, en, en esta dijo como, como a otra, a otra persona, pero Exacto. ahí puede ser el ejemplo de ese. ¿Cómo, cómo sería ahí, teacher, el ejemplo de ese? El, por ejemplo, el, where does he work? Si me estás preguntando a mí, de mi papá, de mi mamá, de mi compañero. Ah, ah ok, ok, ok. Sí, me... ah, así es. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, ok. Y ya en, en el otro es como si preguntarle, eh, where, eh, where do they, they work? Es como si le una, una pregunta relacionada. Eh, como si su eh, cuál cuál sería bueno de un ejemplo cuál sería el trabajo de, de, de sus de sus otros compañeros puede ser de sí de, de, de su oficina o algo verdad exacto o, o simplemente estamos hablando de ah, de tu mamá tu papá de tu novia tu novio lo, lo que sea eh, y de repente ah where does he work ah y dónde trabaja y dónde trabaja él y, don, y ahí es donde vamos expandiendo nuestra conversación Uh -huh. Ah, ok, perfecto, teacher. Esa era la, la, la duda que tenía ahí. Ok, ok, no, excelente, Ronnie, excelente pregunta. Ok, y nos fijamos que aquí abajo está la estructura. WH word, do or does, subject and verb. Ok, entonces, si nos fijamos, siempre es lo mismo. Lo único que cambia es a quién nos estamos refiriendo. Si es para una persona, el you, we, they. O si es para la tercera persona, el he, she, it, vamos a usar does. Pero la estructura siempre es lo mismo. WH, ¿ok? Porque es pregunta abierta. El do or does, que es el auxiliar, la persona y la acción. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Dos cosas. One, vamos a practicar esta conversación. One time Angela and then Rachel. ¿Ok? Después, number two. Vamos a preguntar estas preguntas a nuestros compañeros. Ah, entonces, si, por ejemplo, Ronnie es mi compañero, yo le voy a decir a Ronnie, hello, where do you work? Y Ronnie me va a contestar. Ok, en la constancia, en el thank you. Okay. Okay. Y, what do you do? Ah, me va a decir Ronnie, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es su trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Y después, how do you like it? Ah, Ronnie me va a contestar cómo le parece el trabajo. It's okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. En este you. momento, dos you, Conversation and question and answers. Okay? Conversation, question and answers. Okay? Está en el grupo de WhatsApp, por si acaso no, eh, no tienen su computadora ahorita, pero es, si están en la computadora, es 3.6, 3.6.
It's okay. Where do they work? Only you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, it's okay. Any questions? Yes, teacher. Eh, donde dice Raquel. Okay. Eh, dice interesting o como es que se dice? Interesting. Work in a hotel. Interesting. Aquí al final, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Sí. Okay. No se va a pronunciar la E, va a ser interesting. 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 Sí, esta E no la vamos a pronunciar. No vamos a decir inter. No va a decir interesting, mm -hmm. sino que intra. Directamente vamos a ir a la R. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. No, 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 no pronuncia cada letra, sino que la E, imagínate que no existe. Y vas a decir interesting. 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 
Interesting. Correct. Interesting. Correct. Interesting. Interesting. No, interesting. Not really. Interesting. Interesting. Imagina que la E, la, imagina que esta letra E no, no existe. Esta, la que está aquí, esta no existe. Uh -huh. ah. But, entonces, interesting. Correct, interesting, así es Delia, interesting. Yes. Ok. Is ok? Any other questions? No. Oh, really? Okay, perfect. Okay. En ese caso, en este momento, les voy a dar seis minutos para que creen una conversación con su compañero. ¿Qué vamos a crear? Vamos a poner en práctica la unidad uno, la unidad dos y lo que hemos visto este día. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Por ejemplo, si Mayra es mi compañera, hello, how are you, Mayra? Y Mayra, I'm fine, and you? Ah, hey, good. Where do you work? Ah, I work in. Oh, what do you do? Ah, me va a decir. Oh, how do you like it? Y después, ese es lo que practicamos hoy, pero vamos a incluir lo de la unidad 1 y de y 2. Uno era transporte. Ah, ya que yo sé dónde ella trabaja, le voy a preguntar, ¿cómo vas al trabajo? Ella me va a contestar, ¿verdad? Porque eso vimos en la 1. Ah, ¿y qué tal? ¿Cambiaste de casa? How is your house? Ah, it has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Ah, y todo. Todo eso vamos a crear una conversación como alguien que no hemos visto en un tiempo. ¿Es ok? Sí. Yes? Okay. ok. Van a tener seis minutos para crearla con sus compañeros y después todo o cada grupo le va a tocar presentarla hacia la clase. Ok. Ok. ¿Hay alguna palabra que necesitan o vocabulario antes de que empiezan? Bueno, sí, este, ¿cómo sería el trabajo de costurera en una textilera? ¿Cómo podría ser ahí? Costurera es seamstress. ¿Está en el chat? Ok. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que sos? Ah, I am. Acuérdense, siempre cuando es la profesión es I am. I am a seamstress. Uh -huh. I am a driver. I am a customer service agent. I am a cashier. Uh -huh. Y para, para decir agrónomo. Ah, I am, ok, agronomist. Ejecutí, eh... Ejecutiva de ventas corporativas. Ah, I am executive, executive sales agent. Executive, no, ¿cómo? Está en el chat, está en el chat. Executive sales agent. Executive. Ok. Ok, we ready? Six minutes and then we present. Silvia. Okay. Sochi, ¿está teniendo problemas unirte? There you go. Okay.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums.
Okay. Are we ready? Yes. So, so, lo veo nervioso. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? El internet me sacó y me volvió a, a ingresar. Estaba ahí con... con ¿eh? <risa> es que se fue no un ratito. No el tiempo. Sí, el ah. tiempo no me alcanzó. Okay. Sí, igual, eh, no alcanzamos a terminar. Está bien. Eso es lo bueno, eso es lo excelente del idioma, que podemos improvisar. No lo tenemos que memorizar. Ok. Está ah, bueno, entonces démosle. Démosle. Delia en Mayra. Representante ahí. Delia en Mayra. Ok. Pregunto. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Nice to meet you, Mayra. Nice to meet you. How happy to see you. Do you study English? No te entendí como fue. Do you study English? Yes. Um, and you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in San Salvador. And I work in Claro Corporate. Where do you work? What? What do you work? I work in Claro, in dealer. Where are you traveling? What? I, I don't listen. Where are you traveling? I'm in, I I work in my car. I visit oh. I, I visit my customer in different companies. Okay. All right. Good, Delia. Good, Mayra. Buena improvisación, buena idea. Ahí van conversando. Así es. It's good job. It's good job. Very good. Congratulations. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Ok. Acuérdense, si no se trata de memorizar, se trata de conversar. Ok. The next. Francisco, no, and Victor. Francisco, no, este, and Victor. Noé y Francisco, ahí les mandé por chat la conversación para que no se les vaya a olvidar. No sé si ya la, ya, no sé si ya la, si ya la tienen allí este, para que la podamos leer entre todos. Okay, Correcto. Va, entonces primero comienza Francisco. Ok. Entonces, cámara. Acción. Hello, my name is Francisco. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet No, ese este soy yo. Hi. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Victor. My name is Victor. So, Victor, what do you do for Aileen? I work at La Constancia. And what do you do for a living? I'm also a salesperson too, but I'm currently out of work. I'm sorry to hear that. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yes, it was 
Hey, great. Pleased to meet you. Okay. All right. Hi, Victor. It's great to see you again. Wow, it's great to see you again. How long has it been? It's more than six months. What about you? Not too bad. Uh, what what movie you and your friend Francisco are going to see? Francisco. We are here to see the six song movie. How about you? I going to watch Terminator 4. Thank and you very it. much. Thank you. Okay, very good job. Good idea, good conversation. Nice, nice idea, interaction. Good job, all right. Let's see, Jose and Ronnie. Bueno. Bueno, si quiere comienzo preguntando, Ronnie. Dale. Bueno. Hello, how are you, Ronnie? Uh, very well. Very well, thank you. Uh, what do what do you doing? Uh, I am going to work. Uh, where are where are where are you where are you where are you work? Uh, I work in Multihes. And you? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I I am I am uh, I am agronomy uh, agrono Agronoma, agronomist, 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 and um, yeah. no hay eh, problema, Ronnie. Dale. Eh, what, what? What do you do today in work? No entendí. <laughs> no understand. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces en el día? No. ¿Qué haces en tu trabajo en el día? Ah, perdón. Eh, I am the messenger in motorcycle in today. Uh, okay. What do you live? What do you live, Ronnie? Where? Where do you live? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? ¿Cómo, cómo viajo, verdad? No, ¿dónde oh, vives? Okay, okay. Ah, okay. I am. Uh, I am. I am in Aguachapan. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Okay, yeah, excellent. Thank you. Excellent, Ronnie and Jose. Very good, very good. Solo acuérdense that what y where. What is que y where is donde. Very good job. Good job. Okay. Y el último grupo de Juan and Silvia. Hi, Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Okay, Silvia se nos escapó. Ya, ya como es hora, ya, ya, ya cortaron. Ajá. Ajá. <risa> Silvia, ya, 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 ya a esta hora le empieza a fallar el inter. Ya de repente ya el micrófono no enciende. <risa> <risa> Mañana ella va a comenzar. Excelente, me parece. Buena, buena, buena. <risa> Buena idea, ok, ok. Todos los que, a todos los, teacher, a todos los, a todos los que se corren son los primeros que tienen que poner. <risa> excelente, excelente. Ok. 
Bueno, en ese caso, ya que... Y, 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 y se salió, fíjense, y se salió. Sí, sí, pero es que... Es que es, teacher, es que son, son puntuales. Son, son puntuales, puntuales, son puntuales. puntuales para entrar okay. y puntuales para salir. Ok, ok. <risa> bueno, muchas gracias. Me alegra que ya están sintiéndose más cómodos. Acuérdense, la idea de hablar es de poder crear sus propias cosas, ¿ok? Mañana vamos a practicar más. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, miren, escuchen, ahí ya está Silvia, ya está Silvia. Hoy de repente ya se regresó, dijo papá. No, ya nos vamos, ya, ya nos vamos, ya nos vamos, vamos, hoy ya estuvo. Vamos. Vamos a dar el saludo. No, no, mañana la primera, Silvia, ya dijeron, ya todos votaron. Todos votaron, mañana la primera. Ay, no, así no se vale. Así no se vale. No se vale. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.